Hey, 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 I'm back again today. Like, share, and subscribe. Come on in and catch the vibe. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. All right, today, me and my husband are trying out this new brisket, flatbread brisket um, from Arby's. Okay, we're going to get that prayer because he hungry, y'all. He stop, He hangry. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food blessing. Has prepared to take anything I clean out of the Lord, give it nourishment to our body. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. Amen. That fast enough for you, but let's see what it's about. So I got some some fries over here. I like brisket. Now, let's see what they. That's get. his thing. Yeah, brisket. That's look, y'all. Y'all see that? What kind of sauce is on that? Mm. Is it good? He's got potato cakes. And it's I got good. french fries. It's good, good. Yep. I can go back for another. Okay. Let me see. What kind of, what's this white sauce? What's this sauce? No white sauce. What's white? Man, it's like a mayonnaise. Just some cheese. Some kind of sauce. I don't know what that is, but. We got two sauces on you know, here. Some, some Arby sauce and some. Uh, okay. Some other special sauce. All right. Who dropped the lettuce? Whatever it is, it's good. I'm with it. Yeah, y'all, you know what? Mr. T back up in the video with me, y'all. Yeah, make some noise right. out there, y'all. Step. Y'all want to see some more Mr. T? Y'all let him hit, hit it, put it in the comments section. How much more of me do you want to see? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> put it in the comments section that y'all want to see more of Mr. T on this program other than once every two, six months. That's good enough. No, it's not. <clears throat> this is good. Mm -hmm. You know, um, They had um uh -oh. They had um uh, another meal out of McDonald's I was gonna try. I had mentioned it. Mm. I take them digestive pills, y'all. I'm eating some fatty food. Or these fries. Hard head. Hard head, don't listen. You don't want to say, do you want to try that? Ain't that something? Why you always be putting all your stuff in front of the camera? I don't know where else to put it. Yeah, let me give you something. Don't put it on the floor. What? Don't put stuff on the put floor. Put your stuff on there. I don't know, you got the, everything all in front of the camera making the video look raggedly. I'm just saying, y'all. Y'all know, I know, I know. You with this mountain high table. Yeah, because with this table, you don't have to worry about your food being up so people can actually see the food. Y'all can see the food, can't y'all? Y'all can see that food. I was buying plates to make them come up higher. And when I saw this table, I was like, you know what? This is this. It was it was calling my name, y'all. It was the last one in the store. It was speaking to me, okay. And I got it. Hmm. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. Let me try an Arby fry. I never had an Arby regular fry before. Did you just reach out for my food like that? No. You did it. Then so why are you say it? You see me do it. Why well, was it even necessary to say it? And I just said, no, I ain't reaching your food. Then what would you say? Yes, you did. I saw you. What you, what you, what you, what you? <laughs> Shut up. Wiki, 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 wiki. The sauce is good, y'all. Run right out and try this new Arby's flatbread brisket. Flatbread brisket. Don't we got bacon on it too? Mm-hmm. 
It looks like I don't got no bacon. You must have took the bacon off mine and put it on yours. You don't <laughs> like no bacon. It's in the corner over there. How do you get over there? <laughs> I generally, I generally don't like bacon on my sandwiches. I only eat bacon with BLTs. That's it, y'all. That's it, y'all. But listen, y'all, I was watching the news yesterday, and that man that killed the woman and three kids, was mm -hmm. it his girlfriend? Cause they they never sure. said the what the feel. But you know I was reading in the... Um, Call it out, though. In our neighborhood post, you know how we be, um, mm -hmm. we got that app, and they was the lady said that that was her sister and kid, uh, her, uh, her sister and her nephews and nephews. Yeah, and those were her. And yeah, her family. And uh, yeah, she. I was looking on the neighborhood post thing, and it was a relative of somebody close over here by where we stand. How sad is that, y'all? This is why I be telling women. Do you know what I'm saying? When y'all dating somebody, you need to be sure who it is that you bring it into your house around your kids. Because see, they, he, this man killed her and the kids. Okay? They called him, though. They called him in Matt, uh, Lafayette, Indiana. Mm -hmm. That is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what the man say. You know, if you with somebody and you say, hey, you don't, you know, you don't even have to ask them. Run a background check on them. Do you know what I'm saying? And if you ask them and they got a problem with it, they got something to hide. You know what I'm saying? Because they out here killing kids now, y'all. This is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Be careful and mindful of the person that you let into your home and your life. You know what I'm saying? Because it could be your life and your children's life. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not all about out here trying to have a part. You know, people out here trying to so busy trying to have a man in their life just to say that they got a man when they need to learn how to be by themselves. You know what I'm saying? And, and especially when you bringing uh, uh, somebody around your daughter and your sons. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure there ain't no child molester, no woman beater. You know, you women out here be talking about, I like them bad boys. You like them bad boys till you get one till they start going upside that head. Do you know what I'm saying? Then your kids go through all kind of hell because they hear and see the mess that's going on in the home with you dealing with the food that you're dealing with. Do you know what I'm saying? For the sake of having a man in the home, I'm just saying. Come on, guys. That was so heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Right here where I live at. And they slit all of them's throat. And they all watched each other die. Well, I guess the first one he cut didn't see the rest, but you get my saying. Just, just, just sit there and know that you, you know, you next. Or to watch your sibling throw these Why would that mommy, she must have been first or they was tied up or something because somebody should have got away. <clears throat> he must have tied him up because I can't see somebody just sitting there and watching it and not running. You know what I'm saying? I hope it wasn't over stimulus. <laughs> okay. Cause that one of those during Indianapolis. Hey, dude, I don't know. I remember. I don't remember what he did. What did he do? He killed her, beat her up, or what? He killed her. Yeah. Over a stimulus check. Cause he wanted half, and he was a deadbeat dad. People going to, uh, to suing folks, suing their ex-husbands over stimulus checks. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. Taking folks to court. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just rough out here for folks. When it gets to a point where it's rough in your life, and you got to start resorting to measures like these, you should start seeking some type of employment. Get off your lazy ass and get a job. You got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Hell, who really wants to work? Nobody wants to work. But when you know you got things you want to do or things that need to be done or just you want to have some money in your pocket, you got to get out there and get it. You got to get out there and get it. That's wild. I guess it's just easier to take what somebody else has. You want to work for it. I mean, you know, they saw they think, you know, so you're going to catch up the wrong person and then they can put the lights out. It's going to be the end of you. Well, it's like everything you do, catch up with you later on. Karma is real. Don't take it once. Take an idiot like... I 
And there was one guy locally said, staying on that same note about the guys that these females are bringing into their lives. There was a guy recently arrested. This lady, his, his girlfriend, a 17 month old child. <clears throat> he hit that child so hard in the chest, it split its heart. His heart split in two. He hit that child so hard. And this baby wasn't but 17 months old. Wow. Grown man, why would you hit a child in the chest that hard? You need somebody to hit you in your face that hard. Harder. You getting executed. There shouldn't be anything else to it. You did it. Yeah, okay. You don't even need no trial. Just go straight to death row. He admitted he did it? Yeah, he admitted it. Did you say why? Of course, there's no excuse. I haven't heard that, but... Was it his kid? No. What was he babysitting? Mm-hmm. Then you get it with these men or let them watch the kids. That's a big no. A big no, no. Because you know what? When you meet a person, they're going to be on their best behavior. You know what I'm saying? They're going to reel you in real good. And you could think a tiger changes his stripes, but it doesn't. Everybody does that in the beginning, though. You always on your best behavior. It just takes a while for them let that newness wear off. Then you see who really who you who you dealing with. I was just talking to my husband yesterday. I said, I guess the people said, oh, uh, you know, the, the video that I posted when I was cussing y'all. I've never gotten on here and really cuss like that. And. Um, You know, I'm a firecracker everywhere I go about what I believe in. I really am. A lot of times I believe my husband probably hate going places with me. If something ain't right, I'll get that. I, I speak <laughs> my mind, honey. I'm going to hold back. He was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I can't imagine what he'd be thinking. What you be thinking, boo? I'm always wondering how you're going to react. Which way you going to go? I mean, you got different levels of. I'm sorry, you got different levels of get it right. <laughs> so when I be on here talking to y'all, I don't just be talking like some people do talking to just to hear myself talking to came back it up. I be I'm a I'm gonna do my best. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying. Especially you know when you go places and you spend your money. Did you eat all that? Mm -hmm. When you spending your money, you want to get what you pay for. You know, I expect hot service, good mm -hmm. service, service with a smile. You know, people don't understand. You know, we pay their salary when we go in there buying food from these restaurants. And without customers, you have no job. Okay, they need to get that. They need to understand that up here. You know what I'm saying? If you keep pissing off every customer, soon you're going to wonder why your establishment is a little low. Ain't nobody hardly coming in. You need to check them workers and them attitudes. You know what I'm saying? Check them at the door. Check them before you leave the house. Whatever you got going on at home, don't take that on the job. That, it, ain't, it wasn't these people's fault. It ain't my fault you having a bad day. Oh, you know, I could be having a bad t day too, but I'm not going to take it out on nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm having a bad day. I'm going to just keep that to myself. I pray about it or go. I got to do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? But, shoot. What that time? I can't see, boo. 13. And, you know, people out here doing the most. The Extreme. A lot of over. Overkill. A lot of overkill going on. Got these car dealers, you know. These car dealerships taking advantage of folks. And then car prices then went up 20%. Because the chip's slow. So, doesn't mean raise your prices just because your inventory down. Oh, I got 12 cars. Now I got to charge you 18000 for them. When I was going to charge you 300 when there was 16 of them up here. Supply and demand. Overkill. Just like the gas prices. There's some people said their gas went up a whole lot. Yeah, well, we almost $3. It's... it's Two ninety eight might as well be three dollars. Now some people say it was four and five dollars. So that's down southeast, where they you know 
gets the uh, is they price gouger? No, because they 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 the the oil companies I guess want a raise. They want more profits, so they shut this pipeline down, called it an accident. So the prices went up, southeast part of the country, and like four and five dollars a gallon. They was running out. You know, people was going and buying it like crazy because they said they was going to run out because of the line that was broke. <clears throat> Supposedly, accidentally, but, you know, I, don't, I, I believe they do that on purpose just so they can, bribe, you know, go through these gouges. Stream dollars. More. Overkill. Man, I beat you. What happened? You always I think that's me. a first. You always beat me I down too. I think that's a first. I no. gotta eat a little slower. Yeah, you was really hungry, and I gotta eat a little slower. You always eat slow. Well, apparently you like to die. Now you like me. You gotta eat slow. No, I eat slow. I eat slow. I guess I got started before you because I dug in quick. And you didn't. And you sucked up all that junk, so I wouldn't ask for none. <laughs> Well, I asked if you want it, son. Nah, I got my water. So drink your water, man. You'll be okay. Right? You'll be okay. Drink that water. Good old aqua. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that water, water. Yo. There's so much going on in the world, though. Listen here, y'all. Y'all better be paying attention to these videos because my husband finna start doing a cash giveaway. <laughs> shit. I ah! you told you no shit like that. You better go. <laughs> I'm giving you that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta earn it. I give it to you if you earn it. Y'all, did game. I tell y'all? Play a game, maybe we'll do that, but you know. Just let me tell y'all this story before we go. I think I might have told y'all the other day, but I had stopped when I started talking about it. I had lost my train of thought, but it just came back to me. The Holy Spirit just brought it back to me, y'all. But anyhow, listen here. You know how you? I was talking about the other day how you see people out there with their change cans and stuff like that. You know they be bet. You know uh, we'll work for food and uh, homeless and hungry and uh, uh, disabled vet and stuff like that. The you know, bones. I mean, I, me and my husband been together many, 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 many years now, almost ten years. Listen, we've seen many people, and I said, huh, give them some money. He said, I ain't giving them nothing. He won't give them a dime, y'all. Right? Sometimes. Don't give them, no, you don't give them a dime. I'd be like, here. Sometimes. He'd be like, uh-uh. You won't give Sometimes. them nothing. It depends on what they look like. You know, some people, you know, they just. But listen, y'all. I was telling y'all about that lady out there. Nice looking lady with her little kid out there. He all reaching all down up in the, the little thing. I don't know what you call it. That ain't why. They talking about, I'm going to give her some money. I said, no, you ain't either. <laughs> <coughs> she didn't look homeless, hungry. Uh, like she was, uh, her son, I was telling y'all, he was out there on that phone or what have you not. You go sit up here, the people, there were some people out there actually looking like they needed it. She didn't look like she needed it. She probably had a Benz or something over in the parking lot. I'm just saying, y'all, they be getting folks like that. They be getting folks doing that. You see them on every corner. Why'd you, why'd you want to reach in your wallet then? Tell I mean, the people. I the people want to know. I just dollars out of my pocket and give it to her. I don't know. It's just... Because I ain't been doing it in a while, maybe I just felt like I just wanted to throw a little out somewhere, you know, increase my blessings. It didn't have nothing to do with she was a no, nice looking no. lady. Maybe it was just because I wanted to increase my blessings. I wanted to be a blessing at that moment to someone, you know, but you, you killed it. I shouldn't have let you kill it. But you don't like to be a blessing anyway. to me. I should have did it anyway. You won't get no man no money uh -huh. out there. <laughs> Y'all nope. think? Not going to do it. Why? Wow, this follow hard times too. Well, I don't know. It's just, it's just, I'm stereotypical in that. I guess part of the part of the part of the uh, double standards I grew up with. You know, we all grew up with them double standards. So yeah, I ain't giving. Probably won't get nothing to a dude unless I see him with. You know, you don't need yeah. to be out there. You should go get a job. You can stand there. You can stand in line to get a job. You can stand there all day. You can stand up at, you know, some 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 place working. 
But whatever the reason, I you know, it's just like that. Well, everybody hiring right now too. Right. There should be nobody out there. I've literally seen them standing out of places that have now hiring signs up. And granted, you know, granted, you know, if you walk in there looking dirty and, you know, like some of them do look and they ask for a job, I'm quite sure the people probably look at them and not want to give them a job because they're dirty. You know what I'm saying? But I praise that there are some kind people out there that will help somebody that's really struggling and they're really in need of help that will come in there and ask you for a job that you'll give them a chance and clean them up if that's what need be. You know, offer them a, a, some clean clothes. You know, you got to give them an outfit for the job, right? You know, so uh, uh, hopefully there are some kind people out there because we all got children. And, you know, every time, you know, we all fall short sometimes and we all need a little bit of help. But I did when God puts it into me to give. You know what I'm saying? I let him speak to my spirit. He'd be like, yeah, if I don't do it all the time because I don't even leave my change. You know, when I go to the store, and they be like asking you, it really irritates my soul, really, that they ask me, do I want to donate my change? If I wanted to donate it, I would put it in there myself. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like that, y'all. I don't know why that irritates my soul, but I don't believe that whatever cause they're saying that they're getting the money for is what they truly give to. I believe they get that money at the end of the day and go put it in their pockets, whoever the manager, owner, or whatever it is. I don't believe they do what they say they do because this world has become so cricket. And, and and about the money, you know what I'm saying? I just don't believe in all that anymore. So I don't give. I don't. You know, I get some clothes and furniture. You know, home home. But money. Okay, now if you, if you was if you was to if you was to go to a gas station, right? Mm -hmm. And there was some say young young female in her early twenties. You know, said, uh, can you help me with a couple of dollars for gas? Would you give it to her? And she met all your criteria of why I would give to somebody. Yeah, you give it to her, wouldn't you? I'm but if there was would. a dude there, same issue, everything. He meets all your criteria of giving, but would you give it to him? Yeah, I'm not stereotyped like you. I give to whoever is in need. I give whoever God oh, you know, puts on my heart. That's why you wanted to stop me from giving to that woman. You didn't want me to give to the woman, but you're okay with me giving to some guy. No, right? I don't care who you give to. Just, so why you know, stop me from giving to her? Why you? Why, why? Why did you not want me to give her any money? Because she, to me, she looked like she. She looked like it. she didn't really need it. You got a kid there with you. He's on the phone, or I wasn't even paying attention to none of that. I was, you know what I'm saying? Because the I, they be out there with these iPhones, and you know what I'm saying. People right here acting like they can't afford stuff. Their kids got iPhones and name brand shoes, and you know I'm just saying. If you really out here, or why you why you got your kid out here with you anyway? Excuse me, you know, that makes it, you know, she is a woman. There's all kind of help out here for women. You know what I'm saying? There's places out here that give you food. There's places out here that help you with uh, uh, furniture, uh, uh, miscellaneous items. There's all kinds of help out here for women. Women got it ma ma made in the shade. Because they help women a lot. So there was no reason to me for her to be out there on that corner. They got all types of help. And she had on there that she needed help for a uh, formula and diapers. Why are you still having kids if you, you can't afford to? Uh, where, did, where the baby daddy at? He should be out there standing on that corner or hustling or doing something. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he was on the job, but you know what I'm saying? I'm sure if you was in a crisis or something like that, you got some family members. You say, hey, so-and-so's working at work and need some diapers. They give they get, you got a, they give you free milk for your babies. You know, formula WIC. It's called WIC. Yep. They got formula and stuff that they get. They got churches out here to give you diapers. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm wondering, you know, since, since you went into that with this lady that was standing there, where was her baby at? Somebody was babysitting. Did he babysit for free? See, they be scamming. Then they go get in their car, count their money up, and shoot, they be living better than we do. It would have been a better scam for her if she had had a little baby out there with her. People would have really gave to her then. But she brought the wrong child. She brought an older child who was on the phone. I wasn't even paying attention there until you pointed but it But I out. pay attention to everything. I catch everything, y'all. I'm one of them. I wasn't them. watching I it, catch I wasn't everything. Of Every pop and when people say stuff, I oh, trust and believe me, I be listening. And then, you know, sometimes you be talking to somebody, they'll say something one time, and then you catch them a couple few months later or or a little bit later on, the and they'll turn changes. around and they'll say something else. You'll be like, I thought it was. See, you have to pay attention to stuff like that because people's story change. They don't think you be paying attention, but I pay attention. I catch everything. If you even think, you know, I pay attention to my surroundings and I pay attention to people. 
people. I'm a, I'm one of them type of people. I, I, get, I, I told y'all, my kids told me I could be a detective. I pay attention to detail very well. Okay? Now, with that being said, me and Mr. T3 get up out of here. Y'all, we probably been on here a little bit longer, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all hit that like button. Share my video. Like this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend about this here video. Y'all know what I'm saying? And send me some people over here my way, and I will do the same for you. Put it in the comment section and let me know. You need some subscribers. You got a channel I'm trying to grow. You know what I'm saying? That's what y'all trying to do. So like, share, subscribe. Watch them ads. Don't skip them ads, y'all. Thank you. God bless you. God loves you. Peace. Oh, I forgot my remote. You ain't going to reach over and do it like you normally do? What are you, in a gang now? Ha, ha, ha.